Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a reading for October. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This reading is for the month of October. I'm recording it in September. It's a preview. Okay. So we are just going to see what comes up. Now I see that, that uh, the first I saw as I was talking, the Two of Wands. So this is a fork in the road. There's a fork in the road. You can, you, can, you can go left, you can go right, you can go this way, you can go that way. You have to choose a path. It's the moment of decision. So I feel like you guys are going to be presented with a choice, you know, as to which path that you want to go. And you're going to be needing to make some sort of decision. Are you ready? Are you ready to leave the past behind and move forward? Or do you want to keep staying where you're at? It's like you have the world in your hands and now you get to choose. What, what do you want? What do you want? So you have a choice coming up in October. Okay. Um, you may choose to stay in your safety zone or you may choose to step into unknown territory. The, cho the choice is yours. I feel, now I see the chariot. So the chariot is about moving forward moving forward get taking the reins you are going to be given the choice the option to take back control of a situation to take control of a situation to be in the lead perhaps um, you have to master your emotions during this time and make sure that you are you know choosing wisely okay it's a time of transformation as well with the chariot card you may need to find some sort of discipline to take the lead in your own life sometimes it's not easy to do what's right for you okay so my advice is to you know take the reins take the reins and and find that discipline and that willpower within you to do what is right for you there is going to be a blockage okay there's going to be some sort of barrier in which you are going to have to you know choose do you do you want to remove some sort of barrier do you want to remove this barrier do you or do you want to continue to let it keep you stuck okay this is your choice okay you this is a moment of decision you're going to have a moment of making a big decision that is going to affect your future during this month okay you may be traveling. Both of these cards are, are very significant for travel. Okay, so you may be, maybe you're thinking about moving. Okay, you may be presented with an opportunity to move even to a different part of the world. I mean, for some of you, um, you have to replace that fear with faith and, and make a decision this month. Okay, so it's about decision. It's decision making time, put it that way. Um, Oh, here it is. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. So we have somebody here that, you know, it's funny that I said sometimes we, we don't choose our own path. You may, you may be uh, dependent or somebody may de be dependent on you, which is hindering you. Okay. Um, you definitely are going to need to make some decision and it has to do with what you want. Don't let your codependent behaviors get in the way of success because the chariot is about success. In order to get whatever this success is that you're seeking, there's some, there's a need to take back control. So, you know, pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So you may need to really open your eyes and make sure that you're not missing any of the small finer print make sure that you're not missing any of the details okay um sometimes addictions can cloud your thoughts and addictions come in many forms many 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 forms so keep that in mind um you could have somebody here that is uh obsessed with you Okay, or you may have somebody here that is holding you back for some, from success. Okay, holding you back from victory. They may be the codependent one. This can go multiple ways, so you keep that in mind. What do we have for Aries in October? You know, there could be some challenges that are coming up. I just saw that challenges. Um, between worlds ah oh, wow uh, somebody else got this Scorpio got this so you guys are going to be in between worlds I'm going to go ahead and read that card for you it's like you're you're in the process of completing one cycle and starting another 
I'm going to go ahead and read that. So you're going to be like in a state of limbo in October. Um, let's see. I'm going to read that card for you. Transitions. Not being quite out of one situation and fully engaged in another. Temporary blindness. You're going to be like in some sort of no man's land. Between the worlds is where you must let go of the tendency to make assumptions. This is a time when you are unable to see what is ahead. Cultivate curiosity and trust the process of change and growth. You are done learning the lessons of recent experiences. In this place between what was and what will be is a state of making and unmaking and making again. What is essential now is to admit not knowing. There is great freedom and power to be unleashed. A mystery that is not yours to understand weaves the web of life within a divine matrix, matrix of consciousness greater than your own thoughts, feelings, beliefs, desires, and decisions. The seeds that were planted in the past begin to take root, but what surfaces will probably not be what you expect. When you are between the worlds, you are invited to see with the curious eye of a child glimpsing a rainbow for the first time. Do so and you will not be disappointed. So you are going to be in between, okay? So, keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. Um, Aries, what do we have for October? But this, this in between... There's an ending that is, this ending, whatever it is, where you have been clouded, where things have been dark, you're going to be stepping into a much more beautiful space, okay? So yes, you may be in this state of limbo, but when you get to where you're going, it is going to be extremely beautiful, okay? So what do we got for Aries? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe for the month of October. And this is the reason I chose this deck was because of this card. Isn't that freaking crazy? This is why I chose this deck was because of the King of Wands. And I remembered it. And this deck was put away. I haven't used this deck in a long time. But I remembered the King of Wands when I was getting ready to do your reading. I remembered the King of Wands, and I know that you guys take on this energy. And here it is, very first card. So it's amazing the way they work with me. I can't even get over it. You guys may lose your focus. You may lose your concentration. You may feel like you don't have any drive. It could be a loss of ambition. You may, you may need to take a break. Okay, you may need to rejuvenate your soul. You may feel like you don't have any energy at some point. Obviously, this isn't going to be long lasting because you're going through a transition. So during this transition, you may feel at a lack. Okay, you may feel like you can't take any action. There's nothing you can do. You may feel like things are out of control. Well, I have to tell you the universe is in control. Three of Wands reversed. Now, uh, your your expectations may be dashed. You may feel like, you know, this isn't what you expected. And it's probably not what you expected. It's not what you expected. But something is arriving that you can't see. Like I like that card, like what I just read. You can't see it. And you may you may have some doubts. You may even have some fears. You may feel like, why is this happening? This is all happening because you're going to a better place. Okay, whatever is happening is leading you to a better place. You experience the darkness so that you can truly see the light. That is the truth, okay? So don't be don't be fearful, don't be scared. Something is going to arrive that you don't see. Okay, it is. Um King of Swords. Um this this is uh making a decision, seeing a situation clearly, getting the clarity. I think that you are going to get the clarity that you need. You're going to you're going to receive the message, okay? You're going to receive the information that you need. Something is going to be presented to you you're, and you're going to see the reason. You're going to see it clearly. You're going to get this epiphany. You're going to get some some sort of vision or thought that you didn't see, okay? That is going to help you to clear things up. So keep that in mind. 
the emperor reverse well you are absolutely positively here so you're you're not going to be able to control this and that's the hardest part so some of you definitely aren't going to like this reading because you like to remain in control okay so this is something that is going to make you may be very frustrated you may be get angry you may get upset that this is not what you totally expected I think things are, you're going to be going through a change that you did not expect, okay? I feel like this change is going to um, give you some insight. This It's going to give you some insight that you need, okay? So, yeah, you didn't see it coming, but this is going to give you some sort of awakening of some sort. And it's out of your control. And you may be very frustrated and upset that you can't control it. This is completely out of your control. Um, I feel as though... <sighs> you know, you're probably going to... You're, you're probably going to get really, really frustrated and upset over this change that you are about to experience. Because you're a leader, right? You're the boss, and you've always been the boss, and you don't like to take orders from anybody. You know, you don't you don't like to not be in control, and I think that's going to be the most frustrating part, is that this is out of your control. Um, this is going to allow you to release something, something that has been heavy, something that has been weighing you down. I think that, you know, you have been carrying something that has has needed to be let go for quite some time. And this is going to help you. It's going to help you to drop it. Maybe it, this could even have to do with weight, okay? This could have to do with actual weight. Maybe some of you have been carrying weight and you're going to lose the, some weight. I don't know. Um, this is a conscious change. The Ten of Wands, this is this is making a conscious change. Something is going to be removed. Maybe it's responsibility. Something, something that has been holding you down in some way, some sort of responsibility or some sort of baggage, some sort of weight is going to be removed. Maybe you've been holding on to it because you know you, you're the provider or you're the protector or whatever it is. You've been holding on to something, maybe even to protect yourself, maybe even subconsciously to protect yourself. Either way, so there, there's something that you are going to become consciously aware of that is going to help you to drop something that you just don't need anymore in your life. It no longer serves you. And you've probably, you know, you've been trying to maybe protect others or protect yourself and by holding on to this. I don't know what it is. But you're about to be freed, okay? You're about to be freed. And you're going to find that balance that you have been, in, been unable to find. Um, Knight of Swords reversed. So don't let fear get in the way. You may definitely be angry. The Knight of Swords reversed with the Emperor reversed. Okay, you may you may be very, very upset with this change. It's not what you... It's not what you anticipated with the three of wands reversed this is not something that you saw coming okay so yes there there is a change that is coming that is probably going to make you upset and i'm not going to pretty this up and i know a lot of you can take this because you're very strong but i also see fear here do not let fear get in the way because this is going to make you very very strong it's going to make you wiser okay it is this change this release needs to happen or it needed to happen um this is going to be extremely beautiful in the end. You are going to receive something very emotionally fulfilling. This is a new opportunity for love. Okay, it really is. This is, and this could be self-love. This could be a new love. This is going to be very, 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 very beautiful in the end. Okay, this is going to make you happy. It is going to, this is a new start. Okay, this is a new emotional uh beautiful beginning here that you that you you really can't see it yet but that's going to be the outcome okay that is the outcome so it's going to lead you towards something more you know an overflowing amount of love okay whatever this is you're going to and you may you're going to get emotional support as well okay and you're going to feel you're going to feel um you know, it feels like you're gonna somebody is is going to to help you. Somebody is going to help you in an emotional way. They're gonna provide you some sort of unconditional love that you never expected. Um, 
It could be the Queen of Wands, another another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could be a soulmate, okay, a soulmate that that you have known. This is somebody that is part of your soul circle, okay. These are soulmates. They are. I think that this person is going to come. They're going to help you. They're going to help you to um, release. They're going to help you to deal with the frustrations. They may help you to deal with the anger. They're going to help you to recreate. They're going to they're going to help you. They're they're. It's almost like they're going to come to help lead you out of this, whatever it is. You know, I think that you got somebody that is going to come and support you. Could be a mother, um, could be a, I was going to say wife, so I don't know if it's an ex-wife, could be a husband, could be an ex-husband, I don't know. So I think it's somebody that you know already, I think it's somebody that you already know that is going to come and help you to deal with this scary situation. I think it's scary. I'm not trying to scare you myself, but I think this transformation is, is scary. I do think it's scary. Um, Queen of Pentacles here. So it could be a, a, an earth sign, could be a, a fire sign. Uh, I think that um, whoever this person is that's coming, this person is very devoted. This per person is very nurturing. It's funny that I said mother with this card. This is definitely a mother. And this person may be a mother already in this lifetime. Or maybe she was a mother. Maybe it's a mother... I don't know where this came from that has passed away because this the ace of cups can signify somebody that has passed away it can a lot of readers don't mention it but that is the truth so it could be somebody even from the other side that is going to help you with this that is going to guide you um, I do feel as though there could be two people that come in to help you um, it could be the same person whoever this person is this person is very enthusiastic they're a positive influence in your life they are stable they are solid they are secure they are loyal they are nurturing this person is is coming into your life to help you deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with if you are the female watching this you could have an air sign that is coming to help a libra gemini aquarius if you are the male it is either a fire sign or a earth sign or somebody that takes on both of these energies I feel as though you are going to receive um, some sort of stability after, you know, um, some sort of loss of control. Yes, you have to give up control, but somebody is coming to help you deal with whatever this is. Um, I, I do see fear here. There's there's fear of not not being stable, but you're going to be stable. You're going to be stable. You're going to be secure. You're going to get what you need. You are going to get what you need in the form of emotional support. I really feel as though somebody is going to come in with, with some sort of love for you and you don't even see it coming. Um, this is extreme happiness that is coming, but before this happiness, you're going to have to let go of control and, and let go of your expectations. Okay. I think that you're going to be right in your glory, but this is after some sort of, uh, well, the 10 of wands, this is a loss of something. It is, it is. It's letting go of something that has been weighing you down that you didn't want to let go of. Okay. You didn't want to because I see the upset over letting it go. But in the end, you're going to be extremely happy and emotionally fulfilled by doing this. It's like you're going to be right in your glory. It's going to be, this is bliss, okay? It's bliss with the sun card. Um, you're going to be very content at the end of this. Very content. It's going to be a... Things are gonna things are gonna be very very bright. You're gonna you're gonna see it. You're gonna see the bright side of this situation when when it when it all comes to a head, whatever it is. Um, so Aries, I think that something that you that you don't expect is about to happen, and it might make you uh, uh, ex upset that you can't control it. This is completely out of your control. There's something that you have been holding on to that you have been carrying that is too much for you and it's time to let it go. And that's all there is to it. And it's like, you know, you, you, you don't, you may not want to let it, I see that you don't want to let it go. I think that you're going to let it go. I think that you're going to let it go because something is going to force you to let it go. 
And I think the reason that it, this is going to happen is because you have another opportunity here that is, is so bright. It is so beautiful. It's, it's so blissful that, you know, it, it's time for you to be happy. It's really time for you to be happy. It's time for you to heal. It's time for it's. It, you may even at the end of this, by the end of this month, okay, by the end of October, you're going to feel like, wow, wow. You're going to feel like you have be, light as a feather, okay? You're going to feel light as a feather. So don't block it. If you block it, it's going to be that much harder, okay? I think that um, you can expect something to change that you don't want to change, okay? Um, there's a rebirth here. This is a rebirth. So you are going to go through a rebirth. And that is what I have. You, you, you are going to be absolutely stunning at the end of this. Stunning. Your value is going to increase. That's all I'm going to say. Let it happen. Good luck.